You could make an argument for either one of those guys. Now well, here is Eli Stove and Stove breaks free. This Stove is red hot to start the game. Southern Mississippi tonight a better test against a, a good old Miss team in an intense rivalry game. Here's Petway Cameron Petway who was to play for a touchdown. Sean White as he goes downfield and that should oh have been intercepted goodness. by Ryan Pulley White in the backfield. And a first down reception to Ryan and Davis the quickest. There's the pitch to Petway. Yes. He's up and take a shot deep later in the game. Good hard run that time. Then Petway, Petway a north-south bruiser between the tackles. And look at Sean White. A big gainer for Sean White. Not known as a runner, got a big play there. And now Petway continues good. Until the last two possessions of the game. Already two for Auburn. And you get the sense they're going to get a heavy nine yards a game for this offense. Now he's a much different runner than Petway. Carry on Johnson. Tagged him for next week. Slant left formation here with Petway and Chandler leading the way. And he just bowled. And Auburn starts at the 27. Here's Chandler Cox. You throw him the ball every once in a while to keep him happy. And now Truitt gets a carry. Former receiver turned running back dives into the end zone. 17 seconds and three big explosive runs already. And here comes Petway again as he lowers the run and thrown the ball when they want to. Going to run the ball out of that stack right formation as he cuts it back. And then the second effort just dragging defenders with him. They claim the ball is out as Santos Ramirez comes up with it. Let's see what they say down on the field. You know what? He did rip the ball out. I think this is right. It is. After further review, the runner was down at the 47-yard line. First, the call. Darius Slate, number 81, is the fastest wide receiver for Auburn. Here is that play action off the jet motion, and he's going to actually check down to it with Ryan Davis as Davis. That was thrown off the mark close by. We're not far away at Jordan Hare Stadium. And here comes the motion around with Stove, who opened up the game with a big touchdown. A bit more prepared for it. They stack left formation as Petway runs out of that. He just trucked the action on both sides of the ball. Good up tempo there as they snapped in only nine seconds. There, there's a much different speed that Auburn is playing at on both sides of the ball. There's Sean White that. Third and three, they go under center. And this is a pitch to Stanton Truitt. And he was cut down that time. Maybe they're paying Osweiler by the inch. In that game. Second and seven now. Well, and I think an ankle injury, Washington is that surging team. I'm very impressed with them on both sides of the ball. Michigan, very close behind. And everybody's very impressed by this guy, Cameron Bubba Petway, putting on a show at 240 pounds. So you're not going to bring him down with arm tackles. Rhett Lashley, and one more touchdown here before the break. This could be it right here. Threw it wide open inside the 20 into the end zone. Start the second half with the sledgehammer again. Cameron Petway, Stanton Truitt now in the backfield. And he gets to the outside here. Well, that's exactly good what, pursuit. Yeah, that's what Brett Bielema was telling Holly about. Here, third and five. Sean White with time. And that's where they want to see improvement. Particularly as fast as they want to go. Really understands what they're trying to do. Pretty easy to do that the past couple games. Handed off. 
Very accurate, short and interme intermediate routes. Second and five, and Petway again. Excited with his feet, and that fall away just affects his balance. There's Ryan Davis. The play it is, and he just doesn't finish the throw properly. Second and three. Look at Bubba Petway crossing midfield. We're all out there. The Clemson game, they were rotating three quarterbacks as they keep it on the ground again. But really, see him has played very consistently in running this offense. There's that fake pitch. They can take a shot off of it, and they do. And downfield, Tony. Some A gap pressure. They pick it up. Sean White. There's the completion to Nate. Here's counter out of that slant left, and this time it was well read by Josh Lydell. Holly's mad, though. She wants her picture on. No, she's far cars. more deserving, trust me. And it was a good break on the ball that time by Onut. That's got a sausage link right in the middle of it. <laughs> I like sausage. I like donuts. I don't like the idea of that combination. Local no. fans like this combination. Sean White and a lot of green in front of him. Good run by White for yards per rush. John Franklin. And here he goes, and look at how fast he is. It'll be. Brett with his running ability. Second and goal. Petway met at the line of scrimmage, and it barely mattered. Had to settle for six field goals. Stack formation, follow the fullback, and Arkansas did to find. Outstanding. Here's fourth and goal. Sean White and John Franklin the third in at quarterback for the Tigers. Here's some reverse action now as Eli Stove. Look at the wiggle out of this freshman. Would prefer yeah, absolutely for Sean White playing winning football. Franklin, another first down for Auburn. Past couple games. Throw in here on a vertical play. True, it's the running back. And he's got blazing speed, a former wide receiver. Three on that play. And here is Franklin keeping it. Made the first man miss, but then thrown down. Into the position pretty well. There he is again. A block in front, cuts back to the inside. It'll be carry on Johnson, more shifty. And Petway easily manages Glitch's Twitter feed of recent days. Here's Petway, another touchdown for Auburn. This is great that they've got Bubba Petway doing what he's doing. John Franklin, the speedy quarterback, getting some extended time. Football, they're they're gonna they got a great chance of running for over 500 yards in this game. Well, they're gonna have a fresh set of downs thanks to Truitt. Holly. Number two. Truitt. Here's Eli Stove. Remember how the game started. It's going to bookend things a bit. The tight end. Something happened. It's called Stanton per carry. I mean, it's just been chunk play after chunk play in the running game. John Franklin has looked very impressive. Here's Franklin now as they run the quarterback sweep out of that stack right formation. They have the makings of a team that could make a real run here in the second half of the season. No, they're built the right way. I agree with you. The Auburn offense, whether as the play caller in the championship season of 2010 or the Nick Marshall team in 2013 that went to the national championship game, is at its best when it has the dynamic. Oh, they're giving the other tree a break here. Here's Cam Martin as the running game of Auburn is... At 63, Nassau finished strong. Auburn kind of spiraled out to finish the year. Look at Cam Martin. Here he goes. I mean, this is just getting silly in the box score right now. Tonight, I'm really anxious and curious to watch what that team looks like tonight. Again, against running game, but obviously with this score taking over for Sean White. As quarterback in every down here in the back half. Auburn has the makings of a team that could if their passing game continues to grow and get better because as well as they've looked running the football tonight with Petway 
with 192 rushing yards.